Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Recycle the Bricks and I am Okyoto Bricks. Our passion in this channel is to motivate youths for a better version. Today we're going to be recycling some lines by uh, uh, Zamkuza and, and Mr. KG on the title Skeletal Mode. It's a continuation of our previous episode. So if you like this content, please consider giving it a thumbs up and to comment just down there in the comment. And remember, sharing is caring and subscribing is supportive. So please be able to share this video on every possible social media platform you can. And more importantly, do subscribe. The number of black leaders can be counted heroes today for what they believe, what they stood for, what they fought for, and what they even died for. These black leaders, some of them include Mugabe, uh, uh, Ibrahim Lincoln, Desmond Tutu, Wangari Matai, uh, uh, Martin Luther, and a host of them. These black leaders fought for something. Many majority of African black leaders fought against discrimination, fought against segregation, fought against separation. But of all these leaders, there is just this very one leader that came with the message of love even to his death as well. He admonishes us to love one another, love your Lord, your God. And the second one, love your neighbor as yourself. And the first one is as unto, or the second one is as unto the first one. Love your neighbor as yourself. Because you, you cannot claim you serve God, you believe in God, you know God, and you are busy slaughtering, hating your fellow human, your fellow black, by reason of xenophobia. By reason of hate and on hate, uh, uh, black and black, or black and black hatred. He came with a message of love. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. He even died on this cause that we should love our neighbor as ourselves. This is the message. This is the message he came to spread uh, for the world. It's as if it is as if you understand or you foresaw uh, uh, xenophobia, and he came just on time so that to tell us about love that we should love our neighbor. He died on this cause, I and mean, it's a sad truth, or uh, as a mystery, uh, rather. This very leader, by name Jesus Christ, died and resurrected, and is alive today, washing you, spit in on his grave, on his tomb, yet he died, washing you, even right beside you, spit in on his grave by reason of hate on your neighbor by reason of uh, xenophobia, killing, burning, roasting your fellow human. He is watching you and even standing by you, spitting or even weeping on his corpse or, or on his tomb or the tomb where he died. He is alive and is watching you. All like others, the other heroes that fought for segregation, separation and discrimination, only the remains of their history is available. Their body is dead and gone, but Jesus is alive today. He is just by you, washing you, spitting on his corpse or his grave or the tomb or the tomb where or the tomb where he died. His message is simple: love your neighbor as yourself. Did you know that <clears throat> this so-called xenophobia is a slam, a slam like a door slam? against the United Nations uh, Global Citizenship Concept and yet AU is saying little or nothing about it the United Nations is doing little or nothing about it even Donald Trump is doing little or nothing about it out of curiosity I may just want to ask does it mean this Global Citizenship Concept will not work? As well meaning this concept may be, uh, as expressed by Mehanasa in the United Nations Chronicle, and I read, climate change, organized crimes, rising inequalities, unresolved conflicts, mass displacements of people, global terrorism, infectious diseases, and similar threats. 
do not recognize border. Do not recognize border. Do not recognize Nigeria border from South African border. Do not recognize Nigeria border from American border. Do not recognize American border from Japan border. Then why then should we border ourselves with borders? Why then should we border ourselves with country border? Why then should we separate ourselves from each other? The message is simple. Love your neighbors. Love your neighbor because if there is real love, if there is this love that uh, our, our, our hero Jesus Christ came to, to, uh, to deliver to us, if this love is in place, then the, 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 that thing of xenophobia won't be in existence. That thing of black and black crime or black and black hatred or black and black hate will not be in existence. If these factors that threaten our life are peace and security, knows no border why then should we discriminate amongst ourselves why then should we separate ourselves why then should we hate on ourselves i support this global citizenship concept but i fear greatly as well because this concept may later foster uh, a world government where a certain individuals are going to rule the world and uh, uh, United Nations, AU, or whatsoever union organization is going to be subject to them. Every other body, country, or nation, or people is going to be subject to that world government. There is not going to be any form of uh, uh, a riot, protest, or any form of uh, 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 opposition. There won't be any form of revolution as against that government. Because one person may just come one day and say, okay, I'm the world leader, I'm the president of this world, and I demand and I decree that every man in the world must put on pants on their head. In that case, there will be no opposition, no revolution as come as against it, and that will stand. So I fear greatly for that government because these leaders that may be in this world or government are definitely uh, may be exposed to corruption the, uh, 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 oppression and incompetence. For this reason, I fear the world government, but I support uh, the, the aspect of the global citizenship for the reason that all of these things that threaten our, our, our life, our peace, and security knows no border. Then we shouldn't bother ourselves with borders, with country borders. But however, the message is the message. Never forget the road that leads you. Even if it be that this uh, global citizenship comes to play, where you can go to any country at any time, never forget the road that leads you because the peace you are going to enjoy in that country cannot be compared to the one you will get to your country. Cannot be compared. No matter the enjoyment that may be in that country you will be occupying, that you will be living, never forget the road that leads to. The message is a message. Never forget the road. Never, even if these people are welcoming, they are hospitable or hospitable, I don't know if that's correct, hospitable, never forget your home. The message is the message and the message is clear. Alright, thanks for watching. But before I let you go, question of the day. What do you think about uh, a global citizenship and a world government? I want to hear your comments in the comment section. So, until we meet again, keep pushing on your passion and we will talk soon.